I'd found this tool for the foreign language department, but I thought it might have uses outside of just foreign language. So I wanted to show you this website and how you might be able to use this in conjunction with Google Classroom. This website is for using audio recording. So if you wanted your students to record their voice and audio, you'd be able to upload those files to you so that you could listen to them. Um, foreign language was a natural fit, but I thought that there might be uses outside of foreign language. I wanted to re-record this with more of a general one. So there's this website called Vocaroo. And with Vocaroo, this is all you get when you go to the site is simply that it gives you narrated to record. So I'm going to go ahead and click to record. I'm going to say allow. Now I'm going to do it in a couple ways. I'm going to do it one where I'm going to record my directions um, for the students and they would use the same feature in order to do this to be able to turn it into you and I'll show you how that goes. So I'm going to allow the access to the microphone and right now it's recording. So I'd say, um, if you would, please describe the top three um, influences or impacts of World War II. And I click stop, and I can listen to that. And right now it's recording. So I'd say, um, if you would, please describe the top three um, influences or impacts of World War II. So I can re-record that if I wanted to, but what I can do here is come and I can either save this as an mp3 on my computer and then I could download it and upload it back into my Google Drive and use it there or if it was just a short term, and I'm going to just do the short term one right now, I could go through and just get this link. So if I got this link, and this link stays valid for a couple months, so your voice file will be out there for a couple months. So I could save this and then go to my classroom and I could say I want to make a new assignment and we go um, impacts of World War II. Please listen to the recorded directions and the first link and use the second link record the answer and submit the link for the assignment. Okay. Let's give this a different due date here. I'll actually I'll just turn the due date off for right now. And then I'm going to insert a link and I'll paste my link that I did for my directions. I'm also going to provide a link to copy and paste. I'll provide a link to the Vocaroo and the sign. And so this is what the students will see and I'll log in as a student so you can see what this would look like from a student perspective. So they'll see that they'll click on the first one. It'll automatically come out to start paying the message. Okay, so you get that. And then it would go to their second link, which is their recorder. And it would record. And so they would record their answer. Here's my answer to the impacts of World War II. So they would go on and record their answer. Click stop when they're done. Click here to save. Get their link. Copy and paste that. Go back to their classroom. They'll open this up. They'll add a link. They'll paste the link in there. And they'll turn in their link to you to their recorded file. I'll turn that in. And I'll go back into the teacher account real quick. And you'll see here that one person is done with this assignment. So I click on the done. 
you'll see this person's done. I can go through and listen to each one of these. I said I would record their answer here. So you can see how you can record that, and then you can add a grade if you've so done to do a grade. And return their work. And that is how you can use Vocaroo to be able to do a voice um, submission for students' work. It's really easy to use.